Welcome to Evolution, my channel about electric cars from the perspective of a first-time EV owner. If you own a Kia Niro EV or a Kia Soul EV or a Hyundai Kona Electric and you want a front trunk for your car, fortunately someone has invented one. If you want to know what it is and how to install it, stick around, I'll let you know in 10 seconds. Just a full disclaimer before I continue with this review video, I did purchase this frunk with my own money and I am not being sponsored in any way to do this review video. Now I've been putting off a review video of the frunk.at for a couple of years. I've been asked multiple times, but I didn't really have a need for it. And if you're in Canada or the US, the exchange rate from Euro to Canadian or US dollar, as well as the shipping, made this product a little bit cost prohibitive. Now that being said, it's been over two years that I've owned my Nero and I have had multiple requests, specifically more from people in Europe. So I broke down and I decided to buy one and review it for you to show you what I think of the product. In 2012, Tesla introduced the world to the Model S and they reintroduced the world to the front trunk or as it's become known, the frunk. Now since then, there have been many electric cars that have been put out onto the market, but unfortunately, none of them really have front trunks. Well, the nice thing is that a company in Austria, frunk.at, and I'll put a link to their website in the description below, came out with an interesting product to solve this problem for the Kia Niro EV, the 2020 and up Kia Soul EV, and the Hyundai Kona Electric. Just so you know, if you order one, yours will arrive wrapped in a giant plastic bag. I had opened this box previously, so the plastic bag is gone to make it easier to make this video. Let me get rid of this. Now the front itself is, as it seems, very well designed and it comes with some accessories. This is the top model that includes everything, but I'll get to these things shortly. Let me set them aside now. Now the front itself is designed to replace the motor cover, or actually the inverter cover that's in the cars that I mentioned earlier. Now it attaches to the same mounting points that the plastic cover does. These are these rubber standoffs that are designed to slip into those spots and they have metal washers underneath them. Now I'm guessing that these are galvanized washers and they shouldn't rust over time going through winter. This is a product made in Austria so they do know what winter is like. I guess we'll find out once I've had it and it's been in the car for a few months. Now with that being said, the general construction is actually quite nice. I was quite impressed. I didn't expect the overall design to be this well put together. The hardware that's on the side for the mounting point of this cargo net, as well as the mounting points of this compartment divider are quite nice. Let me show that to you on this camera here. Now this model has an anti-slip mat that goes underneath this divider wall. The divider wall is quite rigid and looks like it'll do a decent job of holding things in place. And it's got this nifty little cargo net with a hook that goes into the corner and allows you to put something big in it and then hook it down. Now the other accessories that I've received here are the storage bags and let me show that to you now. I was actually surprised at the quality of the bags themselves, the stitching and the material is quite nice. Now this first bag goes in the front compartment, has this giant Velcro pad on the bottom, so I'm guessing you can put it in the trunk of your car and it wouldn't move. It just opens up like this. It's got this Velcro pad here as well, so you can stick it down somewhere in the compartment. Let me show you what it looks like up close on this camera here. Now what about this second bag? Well, the second bag is for the granny charger, as they call it in the UK, or the level one charger for at home that plugs into a 110 volt outlet. And it is also made very well. Now, like I mentioned, there are snap points on the back. Inside each of the bags, you receive these little snaps that have stick pads on the bottom. I'll show that to you on this other camera here. Now this bag is also very well made and has the same design and stitching as the other one. Very nice embroidered design here. And the overall design is very similar with the Velcro on the bottom and a strip on the back. So overall, this is a very nicely made product, but how do you install it in the car? 
Before installing your new frunk, you need to remove the beauty cover that's on the inverter in your Nero Soul or Kona. Let me show you how to do that now. Start by grabbing the back of the cover and pull up sharply, not going too high, just like that. You don't want to go up too high because the front mounting points are still attached. Grab the front and do the same thing, pulling up sharply. Now that you've got all four mounting points off, you can remove the cover. And I'll show you where these little mounting points are here. You've got the rear two here and the front two here, which line up with the front two mounting points and rear mounting points on the inverter. Now, like I said, the frunk has the same four mounting points. These rubber grommets have the correct size holes to go onto the four mounting points in your car. So let me put this in now and show you how it's done. Installing the frunk is a bit of a tricky situation because this is so big, you need to tilt it on an angle to get the back portion underneath because it is much bigger than the original cover. And once you've done that, then you want to line up the left grommet on the mounting post. Now you can just tilt it up like this, get your hand under there and make sure that it lines up. Once you've done that, come around on this side, get your fingers on the grommet and make sure it lines up with the stand that's there. Once you've got it lined up on both posts, then you can press down firmly on both points and it's in place. You can look at the front, make sure that they're lined up and then press down. Once that's done, it's fully installed. So it's a little tricky to install, but now that it's in, I'm not gonna be taking it out so spending a couple of minutes getting it into its place is not a big deal. Now that it's installed, how does the hood close? Well, let me have a look and find out if it interferes in any way with the pad that's here or any of the metal structure. Well, there was no added resistance when I pressed down on the hood and it seems to be a snug fit. Let me pop the hood open and see if there are any lines on the pad that's under the hood. Oh, that looks like it's not touching at all. So this seems to be a really nice custom design that's Definitely made to fit the Nero EV. Now let me look at these accessory bags and see how they place into the frunk itself. The first smaller one is designed to go up front here. Now there are some Velcros on this cargo net and I'm not exactly sure how they're supposed to attach to anything because the instructions don't mention it. But uh, I guess I'm just gonna leave them there. I have no idea. So I'm just gonna leave that there for now. Let me grab this other one. Now this bigger bag is designed for that charger cable, but I don't think it fits in the back space. Well, it definitely fits, but let's find out if it fits once the charger cable is in the bag. I've gone to the trunk of my car and I got my level one charger. Let's stick it in this little bag and see if it fits in the rear compartment. Well, that's a bit of a surprise. I didn't think that was gonna fit, but even with the charger in there, or the EVSE, it's not really a charger. The charger is in the car. Uh, it does fit. So, bonus, that's fantastic. I guess this extra bag I'll use for other items that I maybe put the tire mobility kit instead of having it hidden in the back of the car, and then stick it right there. And there's a little bit of extra room to put some other stuff in this little cargo net. So all in all, that seems to be pretty excellent. I'll see how the heat affects this. I have no idea because it does get hot under here and I don't know how this plastic is made to stand up to that. I'm guessing that it was designed specifically for this and I'm not very concerned. Lots of people have been using this for some time and have no issues, but I'll make a follow-up video to let you know what I think. 
After a few months of use, I am going on a long trip, about 2,000 kilometers at the end of August, and we'll see how it does. Just a quick note that I've decided to stop sharing my videos on social media platforms as well as EV forums that I'm part of, because the amount of time in hours and days that was required to answer viewer questions among those dozens of different platforms was starting to become unmanageable. So if you feel like sharing my videos in any EV forums or Facebook groups or any other social media platform that's appropriate, and please feel free to do so, it'll make me more than happy. Now, speaking of social media, I do have some social media links for Instagram and Facebook, and I've also got my website, evolution.ca, and I'll put some links in the description below, as well as up here on the screen for you to see. So please feel free to check those out. If you feel like buying me a coffee on Ko-fi, then there's my Ko-fi account as well. For everybody who has, I really appreciate you donating to me. Every penny counts. And if you're going to, thanks in advance. Now, with regards to the Frunk product, what do I think of it? Well, in my initial impressions, the construction is actually quite good. The accessories are of very high quality, and it's a very nice fit, even though it is a little bit fiddly to get it installed. But once it's installed, it fits nicely. Now, I don't know how weather will affect it, and we're going to find out, because this is now a permanent fixture in my car that I'm going to be testing for a few thousand kilometers and throughout the winter. I'll be sure to make an Evolution Quickies or an EQ episode as a follow-up sometime in the spring of next year. Also, I forgot to mention that if you would click on that thumbs up button, I would greatly appreciate it. It tells YouTube that you like my videos and helps them share it to more people. And hopefully they'll subscribe to my channel to help me grow. I'd love to hit 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I am at about 8,000 subscribers as of the filming of this video, which is fantastic. But 10,000, it's kind of a magic number for me. So please click on that subscribe button. It'll make me super happy. And don't forget to click that notification bell to never miss a video in the future. And as always, thanks for watching. If you own an electric car like the Kia Niro EV that doesn't have a front trunk or a frunk, well, there are solutions. Oh, there is a solution. Frick. If you own an electric car like the Niro EV or the new Soul EV or the Hyundai, Hyundai, the Hyundai, that's a new brand. Welcome to Evolution. My name is Andre Lawrence and this is my channel about electric cars from the perspective of a first time. And the planes are starting again. Ah, uh, go away. In 2012, when Tesla introduced the Tesla Model S, they reacquainted re that designed a product, the front trunk product for the Kia Niro EV, the 2020 and up Kia Soul EV, as well as the Hyundai Ioniq. Ah, sh**. Kona electric dummy. They reintroduced the world to the front trunk. We hadn't seen, ah, uh, And of course, there's a plane. Cool feature, the front trunk, or the frunk as it became to be known, became to be known. Just a full disclaimer before I get started with this is, bug, what the heck? A full disclaimer before I continue with this review video, I did buy this with my my, 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 uh-huh. I did purchase this with my own money and it is, uh, come on. And another plane. Or has this become known to be... I did open this box previously, so there is no big wrapping bag. Wrapping bag? Are you kidding me? So it is a little bit difficult to install. Not the easiest thing, but once it in... Once it in then please feel free to do so. It'll make me more than happy. And there's that thracking plane again. Uh. 